Y'all, this is 4K. If anything looks messy, y'all need to put that season one RuPaul filter. I want it orange and hazy, just like texting bitches. I mean, I definitely get my inspiration from like all around the world and women that empower me, starting from my home when it comes from my mother and my grandmother and seeing what they go through. Like an Arab woman in general where like no matter what, she remains glamorous and she remains standing strong on her feet. Drag is important because at the end of the day, we're playing with gender, especially here in the Middle East. It's very important because like gender is so rigid here. It's either man or female, and if you're man, it's an extreme toxic masculine thing, and if you're female, it's an extreme toxic female thing as well because they teach like the woman you have to be vulnerable and weak and blah blah blah, and the man has to be strong and powerful. And I was always told you have to act like a man, act more like a man, act more like a man. So for me, it's like no. I don't want to. It is something that I think is very progressive when it comes to drag and it's an art form and a freedom of expression. It liberates you from like what society tells you is right and wrong and what society believes is what you're supposed to do as a human just by being born, literally. It definitely is difficult, like there are issues, there are scares, there are places where we're like scared to go, move around, we can't get ready at home. I think we are very lucky to do this uh, in public and out and uh, have a community really. But at the same time, I mean, it is difficult, yeah. I'm not gonna lie. Any person on, in, like, in this country who's literally just putting on lipstick and some lashes and a wig is part of this revolution. Like we're changing the world day by day. And whenever I see any of the other queens uh, getting shine, international shine, it really makes me happy from the bottom of my heart because like it is insane the fact that again, we are in the Middle East doing this. I mean, who would have thought, you know? Negatively, it has impacted me in a way where like it has shook my insecurities kind of and my confidence. Uh, it always makes me feel like Oh, I might be in trouble or I might be doing something wrong or at any moment you can maybe be caught or bullied or you feel like whoever's looking at you on oh, they're making fun of me you know but positively it's that it definitely made me a stronger person and it's probably like what made me start doing drag and love drag is because I wanted to say fuck you to all these people you know that's the one positive thing I want people to get out of their negative experiences is that you will get through it and it will get better and like as cheesy as that sounds like it's like a four cheese pizza but like you will get better and it genuinely like the feeling is euphoric to an extent when you remember like what you go through and how you still here and you're still surviving and you're doing great okay first of all i have one thing to say to middle eastern queer kids whether drag whether they want to do drag or not love yourself and accept yourself because that is what's important and if you don't love yourself that's gonna be very hard and a very tough road. Accept yourself and don't let your inner demons get the best of you or your outer ones. Now to the ones who wanna try drag, listen girl, y'all gotta learn how to blend. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> to the ones who wanna try drag, uh, have fun with it, experiment with it, uh, play around with all the colors, all the shapes, all the forms, something emotional, something personal, aesthetics, not crazy, versatile, do it, be free because growing up, this society will put you in a box that's as small as God knows what and break it, smash it, throw it away, lock it up and enjoy yourself.